So, welcome to another episode of the Chili King Relish Delish Show. Ba, ba, ba. So, tonight, we're preparing some rice meatballs with an interesting dish with a chili relish. So, just careful, there ain't much room for everything in this video. So, we're gonna cut it short within a bit. Right, so, with the mince bowls, you obviously need some ingredients, including ground beef. Now, something interesting, you know, if you go online or wherever you go, check on the packets, you're like, hmm, ground beef. Does that mean you got flying cows and sea cow? Oh, wait, you actually do have sea cows. It's called a fucking seal. Not a seal, but yeah, go look it up, sea cows. By the way, it's called a manatee. Here's our mince. I already started spicing them with our... Obvious most best ingredient, chili king relish. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, and by the way, the TV roll you see over here, like this, this, my friends, this is white gold. Like, the best thing you can have. And make sure it's two ply. Because one ply ain't enough. That won't fly. Yeah, my nose, like, that thing runs like. Who's that person you saying, Bolt? Like, when it's a good day. Okay. So. Then our spices. And the other ingredient we need is breadcrumbs. Now, how in the hell? Wait, I'm a magician. Look at this. One, two, three. Click. Ba -da. Da -da -da. Now, don't you think you're such a sweet person when you use sweet basil? Or is it basil? Oi, Mr. Basil, that is. He's so sweet. But yeah, one of our key ingredients, because it just helps emphasize on the awesomeness. Our steak and chops. And now, breadcrumbs. Da, da, da. And the final awesome ingredient, chili king. Yeah, that's a lot of hotness. But that's not all. Just to top off a little bit of sweetness, we add some chutney. Whoops. Whoops. Whoopsie. Okay. Now it's time to get dirty. So now what you need to do is you need to mush everything together. So we can create the most amazing mince balls. One has yet to taste and desire from food. Oh, just smell that. Uh, if only cameras had like smelling speakers <laughs> so one could smell the awesomeness of the chili king aroma. But seems like we've run out of spices, so we need to quickly top up. Do -do -do. Get some more chili king. Chili bite of awesome. So, furthermore, hope everyone else's day is going good. And when you get home, you know, make sure you all dress for success, chilling, doing your thing, get some food, get a drink. Oh, yes, yeah, speaking of drinks, seeing as our lovely country decided it's Unleash Lockdown Level 2 day today. And I have to admit, the shops was insane. I didn't get parking. Like, I'm missing around. Mm. Where will I find my ingredients for today? And eventually, I got to a spot where everything was just a-okay. But I hope everyone else got what they needed to get from the shops. Because this week might just be hectic. Right, see, now I've got a nice little, look at that, ba -ba -da. so now what we'll do is we'll split that guy in half, and we'll make nice little giant meatballs, but we're going to do this with a pig. Alright, so now... What we want to do is we want to add 
add some awesomeness to this. So we'll open them up. So from here, what we'll do is we'll get a nice little hump of cheese. Bloop. And another nice hump of cheese over there. Bloop. And close them up. Oh, look at me fling them cheese around. <laughs> All right. Look at that nice ball. You can kill someone with this. Someone want to go play baseball? <laughs> All right. So close this guy up. Nice and neatly. Let's pick him up. All right. Now, this is what I call... The cheese ball surprise. Cue ball, cheese ball. Mm, yeah, you got that. All right, so let's quickly turn on our plugs. Get this sucker running. Do -do -do -do. Ah, all right, so now it's time to put these suckers in the pan. See, once again, our original butter, non-salted, by the way. So place them there, you place them there. We close our lid and let this okay do what it needs to do. You know, it is like a shoe. It does what it does because it has to. It follows rules. The same with the pan. It follows my instruction to make awesome food. Snap! Alright, so you caught me in a moment of dancing. Yeah, we got some rice, some spinach and cream. Well, cream spinach, rice over there. Look at that. Boiling. All good. Mm-hmm. So, you rise me up. Yeah, you got that one. Right. So, getting back to our cream spinach. Look at this. We're adding some cheesiness. This is where you add your cheddar. All nice and cheddary. Now, just mix it up. Let it melt. Now, preferably, you see I use the tiny small grated cheese because it melts away easier. Ain't that great? That's doing. <laughs> Here, after our cheesy fondanza, we added some feta. Just, just look how amazing this looks. Ta-da! Chopped like a boss. I can say bye. You know, something that I've realized is I've got a tendency of saying, right! Right, like, there's no wrong in my life, there's only rights. That doesn't mean that I can't turn left. But anyway, so, back to our mushrooms. Now, this might look like there ain't mushroom in the pan, but trust me, there is enough for both of them. The actual mushroom and the mushroom. <laughs> so, we're gonna cook these suckers for a nice little mushroom sauce. One of the most wickedest sauces I've created. This is my own invention, by the way. All the guys who know me personally, they love this sauce. All right, listen to the sizzling of this lovely guy. Oh, look at that. Be a beautiful. Nice, nice. Right, so now we're just waiting for those guys to finish up sizzling and we're gonna come back shortly when they're done. Right, oh my god, again. So, it's time for the creamy cream de la cream. So, add our fresh cream. Not that it is like super fresh, but it's fresh. So, we'll pour that into our boiling hot pan. Now what we want to do is we want the cream to obviously start heating up to a nice degree. Look at this nice little color it's going to create. That is eventually when the entire pan is filled with this brown color, like brownish, then we know we're good to go and we can add our sauce packet. Ta -ta -da! But this adds to our spices, chutney. I've also added my super mix of steak and chops. The bottle says it's steak and chops, but it's the Q-Bomb Spice Ball. Back to the 
this guys. Oh, look at that. Um, almost on the entire side, everywhere. Root. No, don't, don't do that. There we go. Nice. It's almost like a meatloaf, but it's a mince loaf. Like seriously, guys, if you could smell, like even my cameraman is like floating in the kitchen. Is and this is coming along nicely, slowly and steady. And on this side, we're just quickly finalizing our cream spinach. Da -da -da. Yeah. If Papa could see me now, that guy would be too too for awesome. So now it's time for our sauce packet. So now you see it's boiling to the temperature of a hot tub. Like this is a hot tub, not with a lot of room because there ain't mushroom. Just kidding, just kidding. So I'm gonna add the contents. Cool, cool. And now we just mix. Chicky chicky. And you see instantly it becomes like puffy. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Food is just a dream. Oh, look at the thickness coming in. Mm hmm. Nice. Now, that's what we want. We can turn down the heat a little. We don't want to overcook it. So now basically what you do is you keep on stirring this sucker until it's a bit thickened. And once that's done, mm -hmm, we're all good to go. So this is the final piece to the touch of our awesome meatball made with the relishness of awesome. Da -da. Okay, and now the last side to seal. For those of you who don't know, that's a reference brought to you straight from Pokemon. That's fantastic, that is. Ain't it? Yeah, yeah. So the time has arrived. Nice mince ball. Number one. Number two. Now, once again, remember, folks, switch off your appliances when you're done. Otherwise, it ain't gonna end up being fun. Eh, eh, listen to the rhyme, because it's about time you let this man shine. <laughs> so, now for our awesome mushroom sauce. So now we drizzle that all over. Nice. Making a nice little mountain of awesome sauce. Do, do, do. You want to try and get that everywhere so that as you slice it open, you get a bit of cheese, a bit of meat, some rice, and some mushroom sauce. <laughs> so, this is a plain and simple meal, but something delicious. If you want to, you could always add your own spices. For those people who don't want to use white rice. You can use yellow, vegetable rice, whatever you want to. Just make sure the food nices you up. And then in the middle, you've got your awesome melted cheese. Stringy. So, that was our show for tonight. With the Chili King Relish Delish Show. Ta -ta -da. So, we've got our two plates. You've got our main plate with the starch and your meat and your sauce and the secondary plate with your vegetables or well cream spinach so you can do this either way whichever way you want to but until the next time on ta -ta -ta, the chili king relish delish show see you guys soon ciao